Well, uh, extremely pleased with our guys. I, I just thought I thought our effort even went to uh, um, another level in, in this game, the second game in three days. And I really liked our intensity. I, I thought um, for about 32 minutes defensively, um, we showed enormous progress. I thought we made it really difficult on them, uh, really until about the last six or seven minutes of the game uh, when we'd had about a 15, 16 point lead. And uh, we came out of halftime again. We're really starting to develop something there. I thought the first half was both teams played hard and neither team could really get it going on a run. It wasn't really a run in the first half, but both teams played pretty solid. And then I thought what well, we've, we've kind of been doing of late, we did a really good job coming out of halftime. And, uh, Jordan was terrific. I thought he really moved well. Um, you know, Kyle did his thing again with another double-double. Norman uh, was tremendous uh, in getting out and running and, and driving the basketball. And you know, Dave and, and Trav just continued to to improve in what we need for them to do. And Trav got in a little bit of uh, foul trouble, but I think those guys continue to do what we got to have them to do. And then I really liked what the bench did. Uh, our bench came in and did a lot of good things, and uh, it was good to see Tony. Uh, play at that level. Tony really gave us good minutes in the second half. Was there any ind indication from Jordan that you could tell, you know, this was a game that, where he was going to shoot the no. left like he did? No, it's not. There's not some kind of, you know, made look face or anything. So it's, you know, it's, he, he got going early and, you know, he did a good job of, um, I thought, m moving without the basketball. He, he, I've tried telling him sometimes he gets in a hurry because uh, he wants to do so well. That's what you love about Jordan. He just he throws his whole heart out there, and, and sometimes he gets in a hurry. And we've really tried to kind of slow him down with this cutting. Uh, and he's really done a really nice job in practice. And I thought he got in good rhythm tonight. He got good balance. He got his feet under him. He did a good job catch pivot uh, into a shot. And he just took good shots. You know, he didn't take any quick, hurried shots. Um, they were really good shots. And I thought. Um, that won't show up on a stat. I thought he was really good defensively, and that was a key for us. Now, Steve, the, the way you guys kind of locked him down in the first half defensively where they were taking a lot of time off the clock, was it kind of important not to get in too much of a hurry on the other end as well? Yeah, and I think that's what we've really spent a lot of time on in the film room because it, when you look at, when you know, we're 25 games into this now, and, and when we've played poorly, even in halves where we've won or in games or halves where we've lost, um, we've gotten in a hurry. And I don't think that's because, you know, the thing I really like about this team, not only are they extremely coachable, but they love it and, and they compete and they want to win. So that's never been the issue. But sometimes you want it so bad you get in a hurry and you just you want to do so well and you, you don't trust your, all your teammates. And I think we've got a really good trust going on right now with our team. Uh, they really trust each other very, very well, and they're starting to feel that. Um, but we haven't been in a hurry. Now, I hope that doesn't happen as we go on the road here, but we haven't been hurried up to make bad decisions, bad shots, bad passes. Uh, we've really been pretty patient to, uh, on the offensive end, and yet playing at a high level. You know, this was a team coming in. I think Utah was top five in the country and three-point field goal percentage and, and something to do with two-point field goal percentage. And, you know, we hold them to 41%, and we shoot – you know, 54% from three. So we, we're doing some really good things on both sides. Coach, um, you said earlier about the first half, about you battled with Utah. In the second half, you guys came out and played your type of game. You had the same issue similar to, uh, against Colorado. Does that concern you, especially going down the stretch that this team is coming out in the second half instead of beginning with that intensity? No, because I, no, I don't. And if I said that, I'm I'm mistaken. I didn't think our intensity was any different. Uh, I thought our intensity was really good in the first half. I think uh, if you look at the numbers, first half we shot 43 percent, second half we shot 64 percent. Um, so we made we made more shots. You know, we didn't get to the free throw line as much in the second half, but we made more shots uh, in the second half. But uh, if you're going to have a half where you take it up a notch, um, it's much better to do that in the second half. Um, you just don't want to have stagnant bad first halves. And it wasn't that we were bad against Colorado, um, but I thought we just didn't play as well as we're capable of playing in the first half of that game. Then we had a big second half. Today, I thought we played some pretty good basketball in the first half. Those two teams, they'd won three in a row, very confident, 
two teams slugging it out, and neither one of us could make a run. Uh, but in the second half, we came out in the first four minutes of the second half, we held them scoreless. And I think we got on an 8-10-0 to run. That was the first run of the game. So then there was separation. And once we got separation, the guys did a very good job of not letting them back in. I, I don't think Utah, again, I don't have the full, maybe you know, um, Alex, I, I, I don't think they had any really big runs. You know, I'd be shocked if they had a 10-0 run like we had to start the second half. So we avoided that run. The Colorado game, for instance, in the first half, we gave up a 20-3 to run. Those are the things we got to stay away from, whether it's first half, second half. You can't give give teams in this league those type of runs. And I thought we did a good job of keeping Utah out of that today. How does this defense look right now compared to where you thought it might be a few weeks ago or a few months ago? Well, it's ago? better, and that's why I told the team afterwards. I, I thought we, we've made progress. I thought we got better this week defensively uh, against two – Two offenses that are two totally different offenses, a lot of pro sets with this team uh, that, that affect you a lot of different ways. You know, Colorado with Scott, you got to really defend the post. Uh, with this team, you got to really defend the dribble drive. So we got a lot of different things in the ball screen. They're, they really like the ball screen. Colorado likes transition. So we got a lot thrown at us this week in these two games, and I thought we got better. You know, and that's what you want. You know, it's one thing to get better offensively, make shots, those type of things, but if you can keep improving defensively, as the season goes along, then you got a chance to continue to improve as a basketball team, and that's what we've been talking about. And you know, I'm proud of these guys. You know, we're, we got the thing to 20 and five and nine and three. We've creeped back to one one game out of first, and now it's a pivotal road game. We got to get some rest. The guys will take a day off tomorrow, and we'll get a couple days of practice in us before we go to Cal. And that's not obviously an easy road trip. This uh, it's a very difficult road trip, and um, we got a lot of work ahead of us Monday and Tuesday before we get on that. But uh, we've set ourselves up very nice and I appreciate the efforts of the guys. Steve, Jordan only shot 36% since that first USC game, uh, yet it, it seemed like he still remained pretty confident. Was this kind of a result of that confidence maybe today? Well, you know, hopefully he'd tell you that, you know, that's what we've told him, that, you know, not one time have we told Jordan Adams not to shoot the basketball. Um, that's his role. Um, everybody's got different roles on the team. and. Um, that's, that's his main, obviously, main role offensively because I think everybody knows on our team he can really shoot the ball. And, there's, and again, I think that's why I, I talked about earlier the trust that's being built within the team. That I, I'm, you don't hear coaches talking about it. You don't hear teammates talking about it. Well, you know, Jordan's not made shots. Or Jordan had, no, it's, let's try to get Jordan better shots. Let's try to get him easier shots. And, and that's a, it's a good, healthy environment, especially if you're Jordan. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good environment to be in when you got, uh, I think, a staff and you've got teammates that are really pulling for you and trying to find different ways of getting you better shots to get going. And tonight he got going. Was there any added importance on this game, especially because of what happened with Arizona, that you guys are now you know, within a game? Well, we knew it was important regardless because they're home games and you're trying to stay away from home losses. It's such a hard league to win at home and it's even more difficult to win on the road. So you get a two-game homestand, you want to try to take care of it. And these guys have just done a tremendous job all year of protecting Pauly. And I appreciate those efforts because that's never an easy task to do, especially in a very good league. So, but yeah, you know, obviously I think the guys saw the game last night. They saw the results. So, you know, like not being able to play them again just because of the way the schedule is, we know you got to get help. When you're two games back, you got to get help. Uh, so you got a little bit of help, but then you have to play well. And, and you don't have a real margin for error from that standpoint. But, you know, we're still chasing that and we're still, we're still in the middle of that. But, you know, we're mid-February and I think we're still improving. And, you know, that's the key. As we continue to grow closer and closer to March, we just want to continue to get better as a basketball team. Does it make it any easier to keep the guys focused going in the road when you're so close to first rather than still trying to separate yourselves from the pack? Yeah, you know what? The guys have been focused. Um, there is some inexperience. I'm not going to say that. There is some ex inexperience, and I don't think it's been a lack of – Maybe not a lack of focus as much as a lack of concentration um, in a few games this year, maybe a few halves that end up hurting you, um, you know, in certain parts of the game. Like, for instance, I thought at Utah, you know, we didn't have the same, the same kind of concentration at Utah than what we had two days earlier um, against Colorado. And those are lessons that they've got to learn. Kind of the same thing, Oregon concentration versus Oregon State. But it's not a... 
when you say focus, I, I think they're focused, uh, and I know they want to win. Uh, it's just going through this and understanding how you win or lose, play well, play bad individually, you kind of got to do the etch-a-sketch thing and move on. Next play, next game. And, you know, those are all things guys are learning. And, you know, we went through a very difficult stretch. There were five games and seven that were on the road. And we went, I think, five and two in that stretch. And then we come back and win two home games. Now you've got six left and you've only got two at home. So now it's another difficult stretch where four out of the six are on the road. So if we're going to stay in this hunt, we got to be able to go out and get some more road wins. And we knew that was going to be the case maybe a couple weeks ago. But you don't win at Oregon, you don't win at SC, you don't win these two home games. This road trip takes on a whole different meaning. Uh, now the meaning is, you know, you're playing Cal and you're playing Stanford, two teams that are right behind you. You know, our, our mindset is that we're one game back from Arizona. Cal and Stanford, their mindset is they're right there with us. So it makes for, makes for a great college week um, in the Pac-12 because this is going to be two great games with Cal and Stanford.